And right now, Arizona law enforcement say they have taken down a major crime ring. They come across from the border, they uh, steal the vehicles and take them back. Well, homeowner is proven right after his dually truck is targeted by AK-47 wielding thieves. 12 News first showed you this video last month after Michael Florence security system captured the thieves right there breaking in within minutes, leaving him waking up the next morning to an empty driveway. Yeah, and the scary thing is that guy with the gun right there is aiming right at the front door of that residence. So if somebody comes out, who knows what would have happened. So 12 News journalist Sean Rice learning these thieves now are now behind bars, the ones accused of these crimes. Sean. Yeah, Troy and Tram, Arizona Department of Public Safety detectives say the men responsible for that truck theft in Waddell are a part of what they call an illegal operation targeting high-priced trucks all throughout the valley to say that they've arrested four men who would steal them, stage them with fake license plates, and then drive them across our southern border into Mexico to be sold for cash. Now, Arizona DPS and the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office spent much of the last several months investigating this type of criminal activity. They say that theft in Waddell was carried out by three of those men and was organized by the group's ringleader named George Aguilar. Court documents say Andrew Reyes pointed an AK-47 rifle at Michael Florence's front door in the middle of the night, while Luis Rodriguez uses an electronic device to break into the Chevy truck, back it out of the driveway, and off they went. Inside an also stolen white Camaro was Douglas Zelaya, who detectives say has been involved in several other truck thefts all across the valley. Now today I spoke with a former ATF agent. He tells me he has rarely seen this type of weaponry used in a car theft right here on American soil. And he warns that getting these guys off the streets, while it, while it is definitely a great thing, it may not stop this type of criminal activity from continuing to happen. One could conclude that the, the arrests or the, their discovery is not a deterrent, the jail is not a deterrent. They're there to get this done, even at the cost of the, somebody else's life or their own. And it makes them obviously of serious concern. Now, Zaper tells me it's highly likely these young men were recruited by the cartels down in Mexico. He says they have used, um, they have many uses for high priced American made trucks to help, of course, further their criminal activity down in the country of Mexico. Now, all four of these men are facing a felony charge of what's called fraudulent schemes and artifices. In total, this group is accused of stealing 20 trucks in total, totaling $1.2 million in losses directly to the citizens of Arizona. Sean Rice, 12 News.